believes he's the best fighter in this division and another opportunity to prove his worth here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's one of those guys and his brother in particular that just, they eat, sleep, and breathe. martial artist holding a perfect professional record 14 wins no losses he stands five feet nine inches tall weighing in at 136 pounds fighting out of london england by way of paxia afghanistan jump in the snow leopard basharat and when the action begins our referee in charge Lucas Basaki. Tonight's beautiful Cinecam looks brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. Javid Basharat. Thank you, Camila. Getting a starter for round one of a possible three. Between two of the better bantamweights on the outside of the top 15 looking in, Victor Henry Rick. Rick. and Javid Rick. Basharat. This fight clock is brought to you by Cuervo. Basharat in white. Henry is in black. We did talk to Basharat about the grappling, and he draws so much confidence from Jake Shields and Jason Manley and all the guys he trains with, Patchy Mix, Amir Albazi, Aljamain Sterling, they robbed Wallace Willey. It's a hell of a room. He says that he believes he can be a champion, believes that he can reach top of the division. He was not willing to share how the sparring sessions go, but he says that he is training with the best in the world, and he's doing well enough to know that he can compete with the best. And that's good, right? You don't want to talk about those particular details. Just know that you're competitive, right? That you're able to, to go with the elite already at the top of the division in the UFC. And sparring, sparring. Training is training. Yes. A lot of international experience for Victor Henry. Fought for the King of Pancrase title back in the day. Ooh. When Victor Henry gets going and he gets into his flow, he's fun to watch, man. Yeah. Very entertaining, very durable. A guy that possesses all the skills. Yeah, that mongoose mode. Toyo Tires, official <laughs> tire of UFC. 
Josh Barnett gave him the nickname La Mangosta. Henry, a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. Ooh, nice little side kick there from Bashrat. Both guys have a very good kicking game. Just sharp strikers, both these guys. Got to be something cornering your brother. Both fighters have talked about dealing with those emotions and nerves. Of course, his brother, Farid, also in the UFC and in the corner tonight, alongside Dewey Cooper and Andre Tauchi. On the other side, Josh Barnett, the heavyweight legend, singularly manning the corner of Victor Henry. Josh Barnett don't need no help. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking that. I'm like, when well, you got Josh Barnett in there, that's pretty much all you need to bring with you. Dude, such a knowledgeable guy in mixed martial arts. And you can see his influence on Henry. Nice take down there from Javi Bashrat. Trying to get to the back. Victor Henry wasting no time, though. Getting right back up to his feet. Nice work there from Henry to stay up. Great job by Henry staying upright, moving with Basharat. Now Basharat goes to a single leg. He's got to move him off the fence. He's got to circle to his left to try to get Henry moving and then try to drive back into him to collect the legs. But Henry's hip to it. Pulls him back up. Great defense. Basharat credited with one takedown on four attempts, but Henry making sure he did nothing with it. Just over a minute here to go in the opening round. Oh, it's a back kick there from Basharat. Beautiful. Josh Barnett calling for Henry to set him up. Feels like he's dissecting some patterns. Nice low kick from Henry. Yeah, Henry's been doing a really good job attacking the legs, but both guys have been checking as well. They're gonna, be, they're yeah. gonna have short, sore shins tomorrow. Yeah, you can see the stats there. Both guys throwing quite a few leg kicks. A lot of feints from Basharat. Henry not biting. And John, while Basharat is fighting great, once again, showing off the skills, it's you have to make a mark with a explosive, yes. dynamic performance. That's something he's missing, to be quite frank. Invitational main event is set to feature the consensus greatest of all time, Gordon Ryan, facing against... His toughest opponent yet, Mason Fowler, another massive co-main matchup as well. Nick Muragali will face Felipe Pena. You can watch the greatest single night of submission grappling ever, December 9th on UFC. Oh, oh boy. That's the second one. He got one on that replay yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah, you're he right. kicked him low earlier on that replay. Hey, no coaching. And this is the same referee, Lucas Bosaki, who was in there earlier. and chose not to take a point from Muhammad Naimov despite two landed on Nathaniel Wood. That's a bad this one. This is not good. No, this really, is, not, this is good. not faking, you know what I mean? Victor Henry is not a guy who's going to fake being hurt from a groin shot. Oh. That's a direct hit, man. Yeah, it looked like it, it caught him pretty directly. And obviously the reaction tells you everything you need the to delay, know. Now, yeah. we suggested earlier that Nathaniel Wood might have been wise to take a little bit more time. And perhaps... The referee didn't understand the severity of the blow because Wood turned around pretty quickly. Now, hey, well, look hey, at no this. Coaching, this. Coach, no well, Basharat is saying that it's all leg. Hey, stay there. But it is low kick. Hey, it was low. Hey, stay there. You don't get this reaction right. if it ain't low. I mean, this could end up being the end of the fight, but at the very least, Bosaki's going to have to take a point. He's not going to, John. Oh, he'll take a point. 
We should bet on it live on the air. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Basharat has come over to the broadcast booth. Yeah, he's asking if it was low, John. Oh, he's definitely trying to quit. He's trying to quit, guys. So they kick him in. Nicholas Busaki's like pointing over here, like, what's this guy doing? Why is Bosch right over here? So, as we said earlier, the referee is well within his right to take a point to try to level the fight, out might be over. the fight. But yeah, I don't think can we see it one more time, guys. So, uh, give us an angle where we can actually see. But it's hitting up underneath. That's probably the most painful place, right. honestly. It, it's too close for comfort is the bottom line. Yes, yeah. it on trajectory went to the inside of the leg. And finally, mercifully, they bring in the ringside position. I can't position. imagine he's going to keep fighting. Javid, I told you, you need to stay here. You understand? Stay here. Was it my balls? No, it wasn't your ball. You didn't take your ball. Oh, no. Oh, oh come my, on, man. All dick and balls. Okay. My dick and now the doctor's going to okay. tell him that it dick didn't hit his leg. testicles. Okay. Come on, man. Take the full five minutes. Uh, uh. He's hurting, man. He's hurting. Listen, I know it didn't, it, it, from the angle we saw, what, what happened, I'll bet, was the... That underneath, so, uh, man, I don't want to get into the details, right? But something got crushed or pinched, probably, yeah, let's take from the way it hit. But when the doctor uh, comes uh, in, DC, and suggests that it hit the leg, it sounds to me like if he can't continue, they may call it a TK. I mean, unless you can get a better angle that shows that that was clean, I have to believe that this reaction is real. Why would he do it any other way? You want to stand up a little bit? How do you not take the fighters I don't know. for it in this situation? I mean, I don't know. I mean, here's a here's a better angle. Can't even stand up. No, it's not good either. It's tough to get the. But but you're right, John. I mean, you don't react. You well, don't react plus it also looks like you got to think, bro. Like, watch where his his, his leg shit his shit. Yeah, but back it up a little foot, bit. I think the foot is But it's even before. Cup. Right before. It's like, look, right here. It's in between his leg when he kicks. Look, it's in his butt. It kicks up in the butt. The replay may matter for the record book, but look at that. The strike hit is drawn. One minute. One minute. Yeah, but that when you watch that, that replay, that angle, when he kicked, the foot goes up between the legs and Javid started to pull it back. I can't imagine that you do this if it's not his real reaction. Of course. And an official can't convince you that you didn't get hit in the ball. Hey, man, it looks like on camera. When you're in tears. Right. I mean, come on, man. This is quite the, quite the sell, if not. Yeah, right. This yeah. is all time. He this needs to be on the theatrics. Right? Hey, uh, what's the name of the show uh, that you're on? Which the hacks. Name, He needs to be on the hacks. Yeah. If he's that good, he needs to be on hacks. Is that good or not? I feel it would probably it would be a mistake if uh, they he loses because of this. Well, we're gonna we've got five, five seconds. seconds. Doesn't seem, yeah. and that's going to do it. Does not seem to be much sympathy from the Basharat corner, but clearly Victor Henry was compromised by Nobody's that groin strike. Nobody's faking that. Hopefully that's a DQ and not a TKO and potentially a fight that they can run back, but that is as devastating a reaction as we've seen to a groin strike in that recent sucks, memory. That so. sucks, man. That really, really sucks. That was a fight that I think we were all looking forward to to see how it was going to yeah. play out. First round, a bit, you know, bit back and forth, bit of a feel out. That's, so, that's, that's, in all likelihood, it will be a no contest and maybe a fight that uh, <laughs> they look to rebook. The, the 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 doctor's trying to tell him that uh, he's not hurt. All right, we will be back to get you the official decision after this unceremonious end to Basharat and Henry back to Abu Dhabi shortly. Drive time has a big announcement and even e Xin chào các bạn nhé. Thì khi mà nuôi gà ấy, thì uh, các bạn sẽ có thể sẽ nuôi ở những cái uh, 
cái lồng nhỏ nhỏ đây đây là những cái lồng mà mình nuôi gà đây các bạn có thể thấy đấy, đây là những cái lồng mà mình nuôi gà nhỏ nhỏ đây mình để mấy cái máy như này cho các bạn xem rõ hơn nhé đây. đây đây là những cái lồng mà mình nuôi gà thì mình sẽ cho nó gà nhà mình ăn bột nhé tối qua thì mình muộn quá nên mình cũng không cho ăn lên cân ra là bây giờ mình mới cho ăn thì nó cũng gần như là các buổi mà mình rảnh là mình đa số là mình cũng chỉ có chăm sóc những con gà và những con này con kia thôi chứ mình cũng không có đi đâu chơi gì đi nhiều mình nuôi những con này thì mình phải chăm nó khi mà chăm thì có khá là nhiều phương thức chăm đây nhà mình thì có gà tre tân châu với lại gà rừng thôi mình thì mình không nuôi gà lung tung mình đây đây là những cái chú gà rừng nhà mình này đây là những chú gà rừng này đây là những cái chú là tre tân châu này đấy nó cũng khá là nhiều gà đấy mà mình cũng khá là nhiều gà nên các bạn mà muốn nên các bạn mà muốn chơi gà hoặc các thứ này kia thì cũng có thể liên hệ mình mình sẽ mình sẽ chia bớt cho các bạn chơi nhé gà trống nhà mình thì cũng khá là nhiều đây ở cái nhà đây thì mình nuôi nhiều lắm mình nuôi với mục đích chơi thôi chứ không, không có bán buôn cái gì cả nên đâm ra là nó càng ngày nó sinh sản cho nó càng nhiều thôi các bạn nhé mình chào các bạn nhé mình hẹn các bạn clip lần sau nhé bây giờ mình sẽ cho những con khác ăn này bye bye các bạn